Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily change your location on your iPhone, whether you want to change it to maybe watch a different Netflix library, or you simply want to change your IP address to make sure that your data is hidden while you're on public Wi-Fi, or if you just want to remain as private and as anonymous online while you're browsing the web and you don't want anybody to know what you're doing online. Well, this is the way to do it. Obviously, the best way to do it is through a VPN. It's going to be much safer than using a proxy or any other way to change your IP address because with a VPN, it not only changes your IP address, but it also protects your data. Again, if you didn't know, when you connect to a VPN, it protects your data by tunneling your online activities and everything that you're doing online through a secure server that you connect to through the VPN. Now, once you have your VPN loaded on your iPhone, let's say you go to the Apple Store, you look for ExpressVPN, you download and install it. All you have to do at this point is literally just press the on and off button. But of course, if you're looking to, let's just say, access the American library on Netflix, or if you just want to connect to an American server, you simply go to the locations, you connect to the American server. If you want to double check, you can go to your browser on your Safari, for example, and just look up any IP finder and double check that you are indeed connected. And whatever IP address shows should indicate the same country that you've connected to. This is where you'll know that you now finally have access to the content of the country that you're connected to, essentially. Now, as far as these VPNs, which one could be the best choice for you? Well, it really depends. I would go with ExpressVPN if you're looking for overall the easiest to use and most reliable and consistent VPN, especially if you want to feel as safe as possible while you're online. ExpressVPN is ideal thanks to its strict no logs policy and the real life evidence that ExpressVPN has under its belt that proves essentially that they indeed do not log any information about their users. And of course, that's not to say that Nord and Surfshark log anything. They also have strict no logs policies, but it's just that ExpressVPN has that extra real life verification under its belt. So more information in the reviews below, by the way, if you'd like to learn more about any of these VPNs. So if you're looking for the best overall, again, go with Express. Now, if you're looking for the most well-rounded VPN that offers a lot of features for a very reasonable price, Plus, this is the fastest VPN. Not only is it the fastest, but it also has the biggest number of countries out of all the VPNs at this point. Previously, it was ExpressVPN at 105. It's still at 105. Surfshark at 100 countries. And NordVPN surpassed all of them at now 111 countries. Just under a month ago, it was at 61 countries, but now they've upgraded all the way to 111. So no matter where you are in the world, you are absolutely sure to find a server that works really well near you. So NordVPN is overall a fantastic, well-rounded VPN. And again, all these bonus features really come in handy when you need them, like threat protection, which is basically like a mini antivirus. Now, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost, then I assure you, Surfshark is absolutely the one to go for. Because even if you go for the one plan with Surfshark, which is the higher tier plan, it will still cost less than NordVPN standard plan and it will give you a full cybersecurity package including a fully fledged antivirus and a couple of identity protection features as well as an alert system on top of the VPN all of that just to complement your overall online security so it really just depends on what you're looking for at the end of the day again the full reviews will be down below and if you'd like to pick up any of those at a very nice discount you'll find those links in the description down below as well and if you do end up buying one of them, I do want to give you guys a heads up because I asked ExpressVPN and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly renewals than going with the yearly renewals because most people think that they're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month and they go for the monthly plan, but they do end up using it for longer than a month and they end up resubscribing to the monthly plan, which is much more expensive than going with a longer term plan. This will save you a whole lot more in the long term. And again, a VPN is essentially a tool that will be used more and more as time passes by, as there's more restrictions and censorship, everybody's striving to maintain as much of their privacy as possible. So I think it would be a good investment if you consider a longer term plan so that you can save a whole lot more in the upcoming months. So comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.